Prime Video, also known as Amazon Prime Video, is one of the leading providers of streaming content in the world. Wow, what a performance. I know you're upset. Upset? I don't think I am. Do I look upset? It has a vast array of content, from dramas to comedies, crime shows, movies and more. Its roster of shows and movies comprises of some of the most expensive ever made, as well as some of the most ambitious ever made. Sorry, but look at me. Who wouldn't want to come home to this every night? But not everything on Prime Video is a must watch. These are what I think are Prime Video's top 10 shows, from worst to best, ranked. The short-lived Sneaky Pete followed a con man released from jail who takes on the identity of his former cellmate to con his family. What follows is a fun, twist and turn filled show with high stakes drama and plenty of levity. Sneaky Pete boasted a great cast and some witty writing, but it never got the attention it deserved. Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan is the most recent attempt to turn Tom Clancy's iconic character into an on-screen hero. This time around, John Krasinski brought the character to life, making him a charming, believable analyst with a military past. Later seasons would double down on the action parts, reducing the appeal of the character, but it remains an entertaining spy show. Invincible is an adaptation of the Robert Kirkman comic book series of the same name. In it, the son of a superhero starts to develop and learn his powers. This is a gory, profane, adult superhero story. While it doesn't push boundaries in terms of its animation, its use of action and violence does add a twist to the genre, as well as its length. And it does a good job at exploring how far the superhero genre can push things. Billy Bob Thornton is a lawyer taking on the mega rich, the mega entitled and the mega villainous Goliaths of the world. Each season sees him tackle a different case and a different villain, with tense sequences, courtroom battles and personal gripes to deal with too. Goliath is a detective noir show with courtroom drama elements mixed in and Billy Bob Thornton is as charismatic as ever in the lead role. Based on the books by Lee Child, Reacher is a far more faithful adaptation of the character than the Tom Cruise movies. Reacher is a former military policeman termed Drifter, who stumbles upon a small town with a crime he must contend with. Alan Richardson embodies the Hulk in Detective, imbuing him with Sherlock Holmes style detective skills and commando like combat skills alike. Reacher is a fun mystery show with tense action sequences and a likeable cast. One of Prime Video's first shows and first successes was the crime drama Bosch. Based on the books by Michael Connolly and starring Titus Welliver as the titular homicide detective, each season of Bosch sees the detective take on a new case while also dealing with his personal life alike. Bosch is a neo-noir detective series and one of the best examples of modern crime drama. Coming across like a cool mix of Narcos and The Wolf of Wall Street, Farsi is an Indian show about small time printers turned big time counterfeiters who continue to go down the rabbit hole of crime and corruption. At the same time, a new task force is set up to take them down and stop their antics. Farsi is a big budget, fast paced, twist filled crime drama with a fantastic cast and tons of style and great craftsmanship. When Sci-Fi cancelled The Expanse, a series based on the books by James S. A. Corey, Amazon owner Jeff Bezos was not happy to see his favourite TV show go, 
so he bought the show and continued it on Prime Video. The Prime Video seasons of The Expanse boast a bigger budget, a larger scale and scope, and a finer degree of craftsmanship. But it retained the dense world building, the fascinating characters and science fiction of the first three seasons too. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is a comedy drama focused on the rise of female comedian Mrs. Maisel and her attempts to make it big in a field and industry dominated by men. Meanwhile, her family contends with the ever-changing situations life brings to them and her manager also tries to contend with the throes of success. Mrs. Maisel is a fantastic period piece with plenty to say, even more witty jokes and an excellent cast. While its final season didn't quite stick the landing, it was a show that was great from beginning to end. Based on the comic book series by Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson, The Boys is a satirical superhero drama in which superheroes are crafted and moulded by big industries, branded and marketed like commodities, and everyone else is left feeling inferior. The Boys is perhaps the greatest superhero TV show ever made, with plenty to say about the genre in film and television, while also constantly throwing out shocking, twist-filled moments, well-realised characters, and great action too. <laughs> 